But I'm using, I'm going to try doing everything from my mobile phone. So I have my ground station set up. I have drone bridge on. So now what I'm going to do is just connect the USB, which goes to my Pi under there, uh, to my phone. And then I'm going to have to go into um, USB tethering. And we should see a message pop up as soon as I do that. So the phone might go flippity floppity here. So bear with me. Right there. Turn that on. There we go. Secondary display connected by a USB. So, now, uh, going flippy, actually, I'm not going flippy floppy on you, I'm going to pause the video for Okay, I'm back. So, this is what I get on the Drone Bridge app as soon as I connect it. So, enable USB tethering first, and then open the Drone Bridge app. This is really nice because you get the full map view, a little green bar across the top, which I guess stands for power. <clears throat> you can click in the top right, go by either cell voltage or percentage. So I'll, I'll put it on percentage here and then uh, you gotta scroll down here to go to exit, and then you see the change in the upper uh, upper right. The app I'm using right now is Mibosi, and it's just it's kind of helpful just for using your phone to get basic videos because I don't have a bunch of professional recording gear like Joshua Bardwell. I believe I'm on a, a channel 20. Well, anyways, I'm at a data rate of uh, three right now. So I'm going to show you guys how, if I go back into the Drone Bridge app, if this actually works. Um, all right, right now, this is one little glitch. I, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see this on the screen recording, how I have like the, the go back buttons. That's covering the settings, which is, you know, where my home button is. Um, <laughs> dang it. So, all right, I got to X out of that. Pause the video. Okay, I'm back. There's the setting button. So go to that. There's one thing I had, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and there's one thing I had to change to actually get this all working in addition to the configuration files. Um, that was uh, right here under app settings. This was at 1604 uh, for the port number. This is, I guess, how it communicates with the ground station. Hi. I had to change it to 1605. As soon as I did that, then it started to work because I kept getting the unable to communicate with ground station, blah, blah, blah stuff. So uh, save that. Wi-Fi broadcast. All right, this is where things get really cool. So you have drone bridge settings, Wi-Fi broadcast settings. Don't worry about what's shown on the screen right now. These are just kind of like default things that show up. You have to go to request settings and you're looking for those two little green slashes to show up. That means it's a successful link. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm at 2312 on my frequency. I'm going to change that to 24, um, 2472 is always good. Click that. Uh, and then a Wi-Fi data rate will go to the 1, 2, 3, this 19.5, uh, 18 megabit. That is 
like data rate 4. CTS protection on. Standard settings. Uh, this should be 48. All right, hit save in the top right. So again, we were at 2312. I changed it to 2472 and the data rate and the uh, frames per second. Save those settings. So it's sending the command to the remote side. Now, it hasn't changed all that as of right now. What, and we'll see if this actually works on camera. What I'm gonna do is set my phone down right here because I don't want to disconnect the USB because then I have to retether it. I'm going to go power cycle the remote end on the drone. Um, I guess I could bring it over here, but I'm going to go power cycle it. This screen will go away and what we're going to be looking for is a data rate more like 9 or 10 and plus when it powers back up. Um, we're going to want to see that it's detecting a different frequency. So, do that right now. All right, guys, I'm back. I, uh, after thinking about it, I think we have to power cycle the ground station inside also afterwards. So, <clears throat> I'm going to do that. Um, one bug I noticed that I spent like two hours thinking I did something wrong, and this could be totally wrong information, but um, I power cycled my ground station like too quickly, and the settings didn't hold, so I'm just kind of giving it five, ten seconds before I turn it back on because I'm hoping this video turns out to be successful so move the drone inside oh and disconnect the USB on boot up because you'll get an error if you have the USB cable plugged in while it's starting <clears throat> So we're on the right frequency. We got it. And that data rate reflects uh, data rate, I think we set it at three. So now I'll connect my USB. I'll go back into my settings here. USB tethering. Go back to drone bridge, request settings. You know, I think I need to uh, restart drone bridge actually. Yeah, there we go. Got that back. Telemetry's coming in. Uh, I'm at 1605 in the top right there. Wi Fi broadcast request settings. There we go. It's getting all our settings and there we go. So now we have our, we actually our data rate was at 19.5, uh, 18 megabits, so that's data rate of 4. And 2472 megahertz, I didn't really have to do anything on the air side other than um, uh, just power cycle it. Um, drone bridge, same thing, request settings, and this Mavlink pass through your control and telemetry UART here. Um, those are the things you have to set up on the SD card ahead of time, I believe. Um, 
So if when you go to request settings, it says that actually UAV unreachable, um, that's the, the, the port. If it's set to 1604, try 1605 um, for the setting. Oh, let's see what else. Yeah, I mean, that's about it. I don't know. Um, something might have got screwy on my resolution. Of course, I can't hit the setting button because my home button won't disappear. <laughs> yeah, if that could be moved to the top between the flight mode and the little arrows, I think that would be nice. Alright, so I gotta close out this. There we go. Now I can go to my settings. Um, there we go. Right now, I'm just looking, my resolution's kind of weird. It looks like it's at a data rate of one right now. So, I'll drop this down to like 12 megabit. Save. kind of see how my resolution is sort of chunky. So I'm going to power cycle the air side and see what happens since I stayed in the same frequency. I don't think I should need to power cycle this side. Or maybe I will. back but my resolution is just weird and the I mean this is how it's showing up in my main uh, display right now like it has the error message that's been there since this has been on and I mean the resolution is just really bad uh okay so Let's try power cycling the pie. Wait a few minutes. I'm going to leave my. F I want to say I'll leave my phone connected, but. Tethering's been shut off, anyways. So I'll un unplug the USB. I'll close out a drone bridge. Turn the pie back on. That's my DVR there. 60 bucks off of eBay works well. Oh. Just about 
172 megahertz. Huh. This is something new. That bit rate's correct. Huh. Yeah, that's weird. Alright, well, I don't know if this is a bug, but at least you see how it all kind of comes together. Alright, bye.